Where likes to go? She's giving Cole a lecture about how he should stay away from me. Is that what you want? It's how it has to be. Ever since all this went down with your dad, you know, we've all been really worried about you. But after what Langston and Cole have both been through this year, well, you know, you're Langston's new family. Your house is the place where she's supposed to feel safe. Yeah, and now you wish that she never came to live with us. No, I, I didn't say that. She loves you. And I know she's been the only person that you can talk to about all this. It's not fair to her. She seems really stressed. I'm not blaming you. No, you're absolutely right. I shouldn't even be talking to you. It's, it's not that, about Star. It's not like I can ask her. You just need to try and forget about her. What? What? How? I mean, that's like, that's like somebody asked me to forget about my parents. I know. Langston, there's obviously something going on with Star that you're not telling me about. She, she's being kept away from the person that she loves. And she doesn't know what to do. There's something else, isn't there? I have to get to class. Your brother saw a painting that Nora had her eye on at a gallery that I happen to have some connections at, and he wants to get it for her as a surprise. Isn't that romantic? <laughs> Things between Jared and me are fine, Mom. Yeah. Sure they are. Natalie. Mom, okay, you know what? Jared and I are still trying to prove ourselves here at BE, and it's it's a lot of stress at work. Why, is he competitive? No. It's just that Jared gets very intense when we don't agree on stuff. Work stuff? It's fine. Mom, nothing I can't handle. So Natalie wanted to grill you about me. Yes. And what'd you tell her? The truth, which she already knew. Right. I told her that you did not have any Buchanan blood. It just seems like a long trip for something she already knew. Well, now I've confirmed it. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about Natalie talking. But... I do think you ought to start thinking about how you're going to solve this mess. Now well, look, I told Natalie I wasn't her uncle with the intention of abandoning this scam altogether. She objected, said it would hurt the family for the truth to be known. Well, maybe she's just using that as an excuse to keep a little distance. Hey, look, I understand. I, uh, forgiveness isn't exactly my strong suit either. But my dad is sober, and if he's trying, so can I. Well, for Jared's sake, you better stay sober. I intend to. <laughs> you know, I'm really glad I ran into you. I, I, uh, I gotta go get to the airport early, security, all that stuff. Um, well, you know that I really wish you the best. Thank you. You take care. You too. So, you okay with that? I mean, that he's dead, Pamela's brother? Well, it's not going to bring Jimmy back. I guess knowing that he's not out there somewhere, uh, you know, I need to go for that. Well, no, we, Jared, you know, as long as Natalie keeps this secret of yours, you're still going to be her uncle. You know what that means? Yep. I know exactly what that means.